we've looked at the uh, watermark on open feature, but now what we've done is we've added an extra column, the embargo date. So right now we don't have any watermark on open happening. We just look, it's all blank here. Now we'll go to our library, we'll change our watermark settings, and here <clears throat> we'll enable a watermark. It's already here in free form for XML. So it starts on page one, and in red it says embargo until, and then grabs the embargo date uh, from the column data. So we click OK, we go back, we open the document again, and there we go, embargo until the 16th. Now that's great, but as soon as the 16th happens, you'll still get that embargo. So what we can do is we can add a filter for this. We go back into our watermark settings. But this time we apply a filter. Okay, and we've already put this one in. The embargo date is greater than today. So we click OK. Now, since the embargo date is the 16th and it's the 8th right now, we open the document again and we get the embargo. So now we're going to time travel and we are going to change today's date and we're actually going to make it the 30th. And then we're going to open our document again. And magically, the watermark is gone. We time travel again, back to today's actual date, open the document, and the watermark's back. It's that simple.